Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. Today I am bringing you a video inside Stampy's wonderful world, and look, you can see my house is uh, getting completely filled up. Uh, in this video I'm here going to be joined by Elfily, uh, Higsturm, as well as Ballistic Squid, who is somewhere around here. Where are you, Squid? Oh, here he is up here. I didn't recognise him because he's got an empty bucket on his head. He's stealing my look. And uh, I'm the guy with the uh, the shiny orange armour there, the copper armour. And what's this? Oh, there's a there's a dryad's arrived. What's that? Felicity? Felicity! Felicity the dryad? The dryad has arrived. Um, that's awesome. Uh, wh where, where is she then? Uh, she on her way? Oh, here she is, over here. Hello! Seen, seen her on my bench. <laughs> is she like wearing hardly any clothes, or is that just what it looks like? Why does Milton keep trying to sell me angel statue statues? Everyone knows they don't do anything. What does she sell? Oh, she sells all like flowers and stuff. Oh, let's buy some sunflowers and a dirt rod. Okay, let's try to get some old oh, grass seeds. Um, right, let's. Should we get some sunflowers from her? Uh, I don't have any silver on me, I don't think. Okay, that doesn't matter. Oh, and I got someone new. Uh, you can also see that I got a bunch of other people joining me. I've over here got Claire, the nurse. Um, I've here got, of course, Milton, the um, the salesman, the merchant. Uh, Zach is still here. And also up here I've got, what's that, Trevon, who is a gun salesman. So I can actually buy guns off him. Well, I can't now because I don't have enough money. But eventually I can buy some guns and ammo off him, which is quite cool. Uh, you may also notice that I've sort of rearranged things a bit. Basically, it's a bit more organised now. I've got my chest here, which I've now done properly. I've got, like, um, like dirt and mud in there. In here I got stone... Here I've got wood, and it's all kind of just a bit more organised, random stuff in there, nothing in these. These is like all ores and like bars and stuff. Um, here is tools and like weapons. Uh, this is miscellaneous stuff. Uh, that's uh, going to be mechanical stuff eventually. <laughs> so I got one pressure pad, and uh, here is like evil stuff. I got worm food here, uh, which summons a big boss. Uh, which I'm going to do at some point. Also, two more of these suspicious looking eyes, uh, which summon a big old boss, which I don't want to do because I've done that before. And some ho like other horrible stuff, like some bones. And here I've got like plants and stuff, some sunflowers. Actually, yeah, should I take some of these sunflowers? Shall I plant them in my garden outside the front down here, shall I? Um, just to make it look a bit prettier. Can I just literally place them down? Oh, look at that! Ah, oh, two sunflowers. That will do. That looks quite nice. It looks a bit like a face, doesn't it? Like the sunflowers are the eyes and then the bench is like the mouth. Oh no, it's going to get eaten by the bunny. <laughs> okay, jolly good. Anyway, this video, what I'm going to be doing is traveling. I'm going to be going down into the mine. Uh, but don't worry, it's not going to be a boring mining trip. Uh, instead, I'm going to be going to an underground jungle, which I briefly visited before and then quickly died. Uh, but luckily I got my troops with me, uh, so hopefully this time I'm going to survive. Uh, before that though, I'm going to quickly make some goggles. Uh, oh god, I just broke a torch off. How do I do that? Like through the wall. Let me just go put that back. Uh, there we go. And uh, oh, I just took it immediately back off. Why will my torch stay there? There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make some goggles. You need lenses and you need a workbench and a chair uh, in order to make goggles. And where are they? Here they are. Uh, do, do, I, do I just put them on my face or does it go on automatically? Uh, where is me? There we go. Look, look at me wearing my goggles. Do they actually do anything? Um, oh, no, no stats gained. Oh, it just looks cool. Oh, check me out. How awesome do I look? <laughs> oh, man, I look like a dude. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Let's go adventuring then, shall we? I'll quickly show you on the map uh, where it is we're heading off to. Um, it's down here. Yeah, there we go. That That's where the underground jungle is. And uh, I went there in, I think it was my no, my third video, I believe I went there, and I very quickly died, and uh, that's because I was by myself, and I had, like, a copper short sword and stuff, uh, but now I've got my troops, I got Hickstern, who's got, like, all of the best armour and stuff, uh, Lee only bought the game today, uh, so he's a bit of a noob, and Squid is probably about as equipped and ready as I am for this, so we should, we should be okay. I've also got a bow and arrow now, so um, I can use that on stuff, and I got my, my murderous light bane sword, which just sounds, uh, just sounds pretty awesome, it's an awesome name for a sword. And here we go, it uh, looks like um, Lee and Squid uh, has, haven't realised I've set off yet, but it's okay, I've got Hickstorm and his lightsaber. <laughs> I'm joined by a Jedi, so I therefore should be safe, and I'm going to do this properly again, I'm going to... Uh, start placing some wooden like platforms and stuff just so uh, when I do head out assuming I don't die uh, I should easily be able to get back out again 
And I'm also going to shove down a load of torches. I also got some um, some potions that should make this easier, actually. Um, I got a few potions that I made, which are... Uh, I got a Spelunker potion, uh, which means that I can see, uh, like, treasures and stuff easier. And also something that uh, protects me. Like, so when I say if I get hit by someone, uh, they get hurt as well, uh, which should make things easier. So where do we need to go? I need to just go down here. And uh, according to my map, there are a few googlies. And is this copper? Is this copper just kind of sitting here? Uh, I, might, I might as well just gather it. Yeah, there we go. Get a couple bits of copper. Why not? A good start to the journey. And oh, Hickstum's just teleported home. We just used his magic mirror. Oh, don't leave me by myself. Have they all gone and left me? Oh no, I'm all down here by myself. Where are my troops? There they are. <laughs> see them all as a squad working their way towards me. <laughs> and uh, Elfa Lee didn't bounce. Did you see that? I thought he jumped a bit high. I think he just killed himself. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm starting this journey by myself. Oh no, this all, here's all Hickstorm's money. Uh, I better take that so I can give it back to him. And uh, Unless he doesn't ask for it, then I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay, let, let's go down. Down into the, the underground jungle. Uh, apparently I get a really good chance of finding good loot while I'm down here. So uh, I want to have a good proper explore and see everything that I can. Oh look, there's some sand here. That's handy to know in case I need sand to like make uh, windows and stuff. And uh, I think I'm getting close now. Yeah, this is this is where I'm near. I remember this place. I have got lots of bad memories of this place. Look at that one lone torch there. Right. This is a good sign that I've been here before. And Hickstum's back already. He's speedy, isn't he? He's got all, like, speed boosts and all sorts with him. And what was that? Someone just fell through the level. Did Squid just fall through the map then? I don't know if he's lagging or what for him. I swear he just fell through the map. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I better have my potion. I have my Spelunky potion. And then I have my protection potion. And here we go. This is really useful. Look at this. It, like, shows me where everything is. And there's something, like, directly under me. There's some weird blue stuff. And look, there's a claw. Did you see that claw that just poked up in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen? I think that might be what killed me before. Oh, this is weird seeing it all glowing. What have I found here? I found a bunch of iron and some, some weird blue stuff. And oh, look, there's wasps and all stuff underneath me and a big claw thing. And some sapphires. Uh, sapphires are really useful. And oh, that thing's going for me. What is that thing called? Let me just put down a torch quick just so I can see what it is I'm doing. I'm a man eater. Oh, there's a man eater. There's a man eater trying to bite me, trying to chew me, trying to kill me today. Get back. Do you reckon I can kill it through here? If it, if it comes up, do you reckon I can whack it through the ground there? Should we just go down? Should we just go down and face it? I think we should. I got Hickstern with me. I should be safe. And I got that potion as well to help me out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just dig down. Like, we might as well get it out of the way. I'm going to have to face it at some point. It'd be a good idea to get that iron as well at some point. I mean, I know iron's quite common, but while I'm here, I might as well get it. Oh, has Hickstum just teleported again? I think he just teleported away. I don't know if he's doing it by accident or what, but I want to be careful. I should have taken some bombs or some grenades with me. This would be the perfect place to use them, wouldn't it? Okay, I can... Actually, it's not too strong. I did, like, loads of damage on it then. It's just there's a bunch of wasps as well I want to be careful about. I might just drop a torch down, just so I can properly see what's down there. I kind of need the hornets to break their way up a bit, so I can sort of take them out first. Right, I can hit them with my pickaxe if they get close. Right, here we go. Come on, guys, bring it on. Bring it on. Where are my troops? Where, where's my backup coming? Oh, no, that, oh, no, 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 no. That nearly killed me then. Go on, Lee. Dive in there. You got it, Lee. <laughs> and Lee immediately runs away again. <laughs> I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you. That nearly killed me then. I was so close to dying. All the hornets chasing me. I think the hornets are more dangerous than the man-eater. And oh, I'm getting surrounded as well. Come on, Hickstone. We need you. Go and go kill it. There we go. What a beast. What an absolute beast. Right, okay, what we got down here then? There better be some goodies. There better be worth me coming down here. What's this block here? Oh, we've got a bit of gold, a little bit of gold. Not bad, not bad. Oh, here we go. Is this silver, I believe, is this? It's hard to tell. Things all look weird now I've got this, this potion. It's just really weird having all this forest down here. What was that? Lee was turned into a pile of flesh. What's that thing there? Did that thing kill him? Or did he just take full damage? I don't... Oh, yeah, look, Hickstone just got killed by, like, like hurt by something. I don't know what that is. I need to be careful. I think just like maybe some plants and stuff just hurt me. It's all a, it's all a bit odd down here. This is exciting though. Like I feel like there's a good chance for me to find something. Like it seems like most of the good things in the game you find in chests like you don't actually craft them. So I think coming down here is a good idea. And there's something weird purple floating there. So I just dig straight down rather than going down here. Yeah, there's something just like directly under me there. So I just go straight down here. I think I might as well. 
My Spelunky potion's running out, though. I've only got, like, under two minutes left of it. That's really useful, though. Um, I, I need to make sure I craft some more of them. What was that? Oh, it's only iron. And, oh, God. Oh, oh no, he's, he's getting owned. Hickstum's getting owned by something. What is it down there, Hickstum? Oh, there's more hornets. Oh, no. Be careful. Get out of there. I don't want to go that way anymore. I want to go a safer route. Oh, no, at least gather a few supplies before I inevitably die. I think he's doing all right. He's still alive down there, though. Oh, he's trying to grapple his way out, though. Is it okay down there? Do you reckon I should go down? I think I should do. Right, right, let's drop down. Let's do it. Right, I've, I've been brave. I've come down. There's another man-eater, though. Come on, take out the man-eater, everyone. Help me out. <laughs> what's, what's Squid doing? Oh, Squid's joined us. We're all here. We're all here together now again. Okay, okay, here we go. We're, we're, we're making it safely down. It's really weird with that potion because things glow really weird colours. Oh, and there's, there's a piranha. There's piranha fish. And I found some glowstone there in that pot as well. All right, okay, let's gather up some of this iron. I, I want to find more stuff. I mean, iron is very handy, and I can always use it. There's a lot of things that you need iron to make, very similar to Minecraft, but I want to find exciting new stuff. That's what I'm really interested in finding. That's what I thought I'd find down here. Like, I want to find chests, mainly. And what is this stuff here, actually? What am I standing on right now? S oh, silt. What's silt? What does that? Do you reckon I can make some sort of other type of brick or something with this stuff? Ow! What was that? Was that a hornet or something fired at me? Something just dropped on my head and really hurt me. Everyone's going, oh, I'm, I'm going down. That's right, I'm going to join the others. Oh, that was dangerous there. I, could, I almost died then. Right, have another healing potion. Oh, they've all gone way down there. Um, right, let's try and do this carefully, shall we? Do you reckon I can just drop? Do you reckon I'll die? Uh, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I did die. Oh, I missed the water. If I was just ever so slightly to the left, I would have been fine. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm all the way back here. Right, okay, that's it. Let's, let's go back then. Let's head straight back home. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because I keep all the materials. And I suppose they can carry on going ahead of me and sort of clearing the way a bit. And I hadn't actually gone that deep. What I might do is I might just add another little tunnel down here. Because this does all kind of link up. It might look a bit ugly for now, but I really it's going to take me ages to get down there. And sorry, bunny! I didn't mean to kill you. I was just swinging and you jumped in front of me. <laughs> That's like what children say, isn't it? When, like, they're having an argument with their siblings. Like, I'm just going to swing my arms around and if you jump in front of me, it's not my fault if I hit you. That's kind of what I there just did with the bunny. Right, let's go back down. Uh, if I'm quick, I can actually get my money back as well, I think. So uh, it's not too big of a loss. And I knew I didn't have much money on me anyway, so uh, that doesn't matter. I love the look of me with my goggles as well. I should probably put my helmet on, to be fair, though. Where is my helmet? Did I put it in a chest or something? Is my helmet here? Um... Oh, no, I still got my helmet on, but... Oh, I just, I think when I got the goggles, it doesn't show it. Oh, that's cool. That way I can have the protection of my helmet, but I can still see my awesome afro. So <laughs> I kind of got the best of both worlds. I look stylish and I'm protected, which is good. Okay, so let's be careful. So I need to just go the same way, but just jump ever so slightly further to the left. And oh, look, there's a, there's a, another pot down there. Am I going a different route? Is this where I went last time? Ow, I'm getting hurt by something. I think this is a different place. I think this might be where I died last time. And what is that stuff that keeps hurting me? It's really annoying. It's like very slowly taking away my health, but it could mean that when I get attacked, I get owned. I've gone a different way. I've gone a different route. And oh, no, I'm getting owned. Oh, look, I found a chest, though. I found a chest. I need to be very careful, though. I have another healing potion if I can. Oh, and there's wasps. There's wasps coming up around here. All right, let's put a torch. Oh, there's a giant worm. Oh, no, okay. I need, I need to kill that. Right, what was- Oh, get back, get back, get back. I can deal with the worms. The wasps are pretty powerful, though. Ooh, a breathing rod. Because not drowning is kind of nice. <laughs> you can say that again. That's useful. Oh, and it's silver. I found silver. That's a pretty awesome chest. Can I take it? Can I take the chest with me? There we go. I managed to get a gold chest. And uh, there's Hickstorm just charging in to save me. <laughs> just swinging around like crazy. Oh, it's a dragon hornet. There's a dragon hornet, Hickstorm. Deal with it. <laughs> go and take it out. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Right, okay. I'm going to pile up some stone here and try and get uh, that silver up there while I'm down here. Uh, this is kind of awesome. What's that breathing rod do then? Is it like something I take or do I equip it, do you reckon? Um... If I have it there, do I like... Is it usable? Oh, no, I'm getting owned again. Yeah, I think it might be something that allows me to breathe underwater for a certain amount of time. I'm going to take it out my quick select before I accidentally use it and waste it, like, while not in water. That's the kind of thing I normally do. <laughs> I remember when I, um... I, I took a like a night vision potion like while it was day and I was under the ground anyway and just completely wasted it. <laughs> right, let's go grab it. Let's go grab this silver. 
Let's have it not a completely wasted trip. Even just getting the um the gold chest is pretty handy. Like even that might be make the trip worth it. And oh look, there's another chest down here. What have I found? Oh, I got an an angry feral claw. Um, what what else was in there? Dynamite, gold, um, fawn's potion. Oh, that's another one of those things where they attack me. And a glow stick. Right, let's just take all of that. That's all pretty useful. And uh, take take the chest as well while I'm here. And what's this? Is this like gold brick or something that I'm standing on? Yeah, gold brick. Oh, I got I got to build a room out of gold. I got to build my pelt penthouse room out of gold. And hello, Lee. You were right, mate. <laughs> Jumping for joy. This is very dangerous down here. I don't like the hornets. See, they went straight for me. And what's this up there? Is, is that more gold I think I found? Okay, we can just... That stuff that hurts me, I can destroy it. And oh no. Look, there's another another hornet up here. Right, let's take it out. Let's deal with it. I might take another one of those potions, actually. Uh, let me just step out the way in case that hornet comes after me. Uh, what was that was again? Equipable increases melee speed. Oh, I, I might use that. I've already got one. <laughs> I think this might be a better one, though, is it? Um, okay, well, what does this one do? Uh, plus 12%. Plus 12%. Has this got something else? Oh, plus 3 damage as well. Yeah, this is this is a slightly better one as well. So I'm just going to replace it like that. And uh, yeah, take another one of those potions. Because that was pretty handy. Uh, it just means I can kill stuff quicker. Because like, basically whenever they hit me, they get hurt as well. Okay, so let's just break my way through here and uh, try and take out this thing. Oh, it's all gone dark. I don't like it when I can't see it. I know it's just going to go for me any second. Right, go on, let's find it out in the open where I can see it. Come on, mate. I ain't scared of you. Well, I'm a little bit scared, but I think that's normal. Come on, come on. Come take me on then, Hornet. Look, it's scared of me. It's running away. It's running away. And there's a heart there. I go, I go grab the heart as well while I'm fighting it. There we go. I managed to deal with it at least. Is there anything up here? Was there any point for me breaking my way to take out that hornet? Nope, absolutely nothing up here. Okay, well, I, get, I get this one last gold brick, then I carry on heading down. And here we go, here are my troops, come to join me, come to help me out. Another hornet joining us as well. This isn't actually as dangerous as I thought. I mean, I know I have died once already, but like, we're dealing with most things. I'm glad I'm not by myself because I think I'd have died more. I mean, I think my main worry is just dropping down. I wish there was a way to like see way underneath you and sort of see if you're going to be dropping down onto anything. I could do another one of those potions that allows me to see all the ores. That was a really useful thing to have. And oh look, there's a pot up there as well. Look, can I place uh, things down there? Yeah, I can. If I just place these here and go and get that pot, see if I got anything in there. I think all the really valuable stuff is in chests, not the pots. Oh, oh, the pot's gone. Or did I imagine the pot? I think I found something like some sort of gills or something I think I found. Nature's gift or... Oh, look at all this random stuff I found. Quite a lot of gold, which is quite handy. It uh, looks like we've decided to head down this way. Uh, cobwebs are actually really handy. I didn't really realise it, but you use them to make um, silk. And that's how you make your beds and loads of clothes and stuff. So um, it might be worth getting as many cobwebs as I can as well. And oh, look, there's some weird glowing thing down there. What's that? And there's also another hornet. Run away, Lee. Lee, stay safe. <laughs> Lee, Lee's getting there totally owned. As I said, he only got the game today. Uh, so he's going to be learning. And I got something there like jungle something. Jungle spores. Do you reckon that means I can plant like jungles in other places? If I could, that would be really handy. I could like put a jungle like closer to home, like on the surface, <laughs> rather than a jungle under the ground like we got now. And there's something glowing up there as well. Can you see that? There's like a weird plant or something. Let's put down a platform and see if I can get up to there. Right, I should be able to jump onto that and then climb up here. The thing I love about mining is there's so many just other random things to find. It's going to take so long until you go mining and you don't find something new. Like every time I go, I always run across some sort of new material. And because of that, it's all really exciting. Right, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to go around this way just so I don't drop down and hurt myself. Right, be careful, be careful. Oh, there's there's another thing down here. More jungle spores. All right, big jump, big jump, big jump. Oh, there's water there anyway. Oh, what's this? I think this is some more sapphire. And oh no, another hornet. Squid, don't run away. Help me, there's a there's a hornet here. I can't hit it, it's like really high above me. Go on, get out of the way, get out of the way. I should probably use my bow and arrow a bit more. I actually crafted a load of arrows. You only need um a wooden stone to make like normal arrows. So like, unless you're making really fancy arrows, you make them really easily. And oh, Squid's getting owned by something. What was hurting him? Or, or is that me hurting him? <laughs> I think PvP's off, so I shouldn't be able to hurt him. And look, there's, a, there's another little tiny bit of sapphire there. Can I reach it? Can I just reach it? Almost? Nope. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered just to go and get that one little bit. 
Right, okay, let's carry on going down this way then. Let's look on the map. Where have I been? I must be getting really deep now. Look at it. This place is massive. Look how far I've gone. There seems to be a bunch of water underneath me. I could try out that that breathing underwater thing, I suppose. Is that where they've all gone? Are they all down here underneath the sea? Oh, have they all got down there? Are they all breathing under the water? Oh, look, they're slowly, like, going down and going back up again. Are they all, like, really close together? I can't see where the others are. Or have they gone back to the home? No, I think they're, they are under me somewhere. There they are. I think they're all just, like, in a really close group. Now, here we go. They seem to have found a way down. And there's some more copper here. I might as well grab that. Uh, sadly, though, um, I have just about run out of time for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here, uh, but then just carry on recording. So in the next video, uh, you can just see uh, the next part of this mining trip as we go down into this underground jungle. What a really cool place to be exploring. I'm loving it. And so hopefully you did enjoy this video and you will click the link in the description uh, to see the next part once it's online. Uh, but I want to end now by saying thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!